Hi everyone, welcome to Film School, the online show where I teach you the tricks, tips, and techniques of being a video slash filmmaker, or as I like to call, a filmmaker. Hey everyone, welcome back to Film School, it's John. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you about the awesome product that I just bought called the Shell Express from Contour. Basically what it is, if you're wondering, is a multimedia controller. So you can work on a variety of applications with this thing. It's for basically mostly video editing and music, like making music and stuff like that. This bad boy runs for about $37 to $54. I got mine for about $37 on Amazon. And the great thing about this is that it's the little brother to the... Contour Shuttle Pro version 2. This thing has also five programmable buttons and it really works a charm and it makes your video editing experience a little quicker and a little faster. So I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so basically um, right here is the Shuttle Express that I'm going to be using. Uh, first of all, to actually get it to work in your program, you have to go to Contour Shuttle when you load it into your um, Mac or PC. But this works for both. And I'm just going to leave it for global settings, but there, as you can see, a variety of settings that you can change it to. Um, so basically, I'm in CS6 by Adobe Premiere. Um, so I have some footage here from a shoot I just went to recently. The job knob and the shuttle wheel are two different things. This is the job knob, and you can go frame by frame, as you can see right here. And then the shuttle wheel, you can just go turn it here, and it will go also frame by frame, but a little faster. So this one, you can just go one frame, and you can cut if you wanted to, or like go three frames up if you wanted to. doesn't really matter. Um, and then you can go back with the shuttle, um, shuttle wheel, or go forward with the shuttle wheel. If you want, you can just go faster with it. Bam. And it keeps going until it stops, because it has a certain um, sensitivity to it. Uh, right here, this is your in uh, marker, so let's go a few frames up maybe, and we will go to an out marker, which is at the other end. Uh, then you have your three buttons up top, which are your basically your J, K, K, and L buttons. And these buttons do, if you don't know, the J buttons goes back goes backwards, and you can speed it up if you double tap it. Uh, your K button usually stops it, so your middle button stops it, and your L button will go forward and go double double time. So you can change this around to probably program it to buttons and stuff like that. So you can go to your blade or your arrow or your splice, your pen, whatever you feel comfortable with. I mean, it's really uh, a groovy application and tool that you have right here to be allowed to do all this stuff. So when you're editing, you're just like, hey, let me just go four frames over so you can get that precision right there. I, um, I just bought this, so I got this a few days ago. And I'm loving it, and I recommend it for all of you. Okay, well that wraps it up for this week's episode. If you want to know more information about the Shuttle Express from Contour, please check out my website and visit the blog on my website. Um, also, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share the videos. Remember that if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I will answer your questions. Also, um, this week's homework, as I like to do every week, I like to give homework to you, as you all know, hopefully. Uh, this week, the question is, basically, what do you think of the Contour Shuttle Express? Do you think it's helpful? Do you think it's stupid? What are your thoughts? Tell me them. Uh, comment, video respond, email me your uh, thoughts, and I'll have it in the video next week, in the annotations, in the video, or, or also in my blog, too. So this is John signing off for this week. Uh, remember to keep learning.